some of your viewers may be interested in knowing that this is where the uh, Bird and Baldwin store stood. This was Mr. Jim Henry Bird of the Bird Farm. This is where he built his store. Uh, it stood here. Of course, it's been long gone. I think it burned in 1920, somewhere between 1921 and 1926. Uh, it caught fire and was, uh, was destroyed. But the Bird store started out here as Bird Freeman and Terry. Uh, Mr. Bird built a little wooden building on this corner and as his business grew uh, he took in his nephew uh, um, Robert Baldwin uh, nephew-in-law uh, Robert Baldwin and he was Robert Baldwin senior was his name but he and Mr. Baldwin were in business together here for many many years and they built a two-story brick building here and I'm told that there was a ramp in the back of the building was so big that they had a ramp that went up to the second floor and the entire second floor was a showroom for for wagons and buggies and uh he was a dealer in uh white hickory and white star buggies white hickory buggies i believe were from north carolina but he was the sole distributor for those here in Waverly hall uh later the building burned and you can see where part of the building This is part of the front wall of the building. This being the old original front facade. But later in the 1940s, the ruins of the building, there was a long wall that went down that street over there. That was used for circus posters. And uh, whenever the circus was coming to town, e anywhere around here, Columbus or Tarbaton or wherever the circus was gonna appear, they would use that wall to display the, the posters. Now, this was an alley between Dr. Stanford's drugstore and the Bird and Baldwin store right here. So in 1910, the shoe business was so busy in the Bird and Baldwin store that they built this store right here just for their shoe department. And they cut a hole between the walls, uh, between the two stores. They had a big arch doorway that went from this store into the big main store. And uh, they put the date right here that this was built. The concrete out here was poured June the 7th of 1910. Now these doors here originally had a shutter that went over them that covered the glass in the evenings. You can see those holes right up there. There was a, a wooden panel that would stick up there. You would slide down here and from the inside you would turn the key and this has threads on it and the threads would lock the shutters down. And of course the windows, they had shutters on them as well so that when they were, in, you know, at nighttime they would close them up and had an iron bar that went across them to locked the place up securely but this was the bird and baldwin shoe store and then after they went out of business uh mr ap smith and his wife miss ruth had a cafe and a restaurant in this business in, in this building and then over the years it was different things came and went in here uh then part of the vardaman antique shops were all all of these buildings the one on the corner over there the old doctor uh jameson drug store then this building was built here in the 60s and was going to be a post office, but it never, uh, plans fell through on that. Uh, then this, when I was a kid, became Vardaman's laundromat prior to it becoming an antique shop. And a lot of people did not have washers and dryers back then. And everybody came up here to wash and dry their clothes when this thing went in business. It was very popular. And that's about it after this, uh, antique shop closed this building was sold and it's been a bakery and a restaurant two or three other different things have come and gone here but it's soon to be under new owners and maybe something different will come to town it's pretty neat uh this is the last bird and baldwin building that's standing that and just a little bit of wall 